Hey everyone, welcome to this week's workout tutorial. We're going to go ahead and start right away with the first move. It's the Renegade Row Surrenders. Um, in the video workout, we'll be doing 10 reps of this combination. So you're going to start off in the plank position, bringing one arm up at a time, uh, keeping your elbow close to your body. You can either step or jump up into a squat and then raise the weights above you keeping your arms in line with your shoulders. When you reach the top you're going to step back lowering one knee onto the mat. Make sure you're not banging down. So step back with one side and as you come up you're going to push off the heel of that forward leg. Each time you come back down, that's one rep. You can also do this from your knees. Just make sure your back is straight. You can also lower the weight, you need a slightly lighter weight. You can step up, then bring the weights above you lower down. Each time you come down, um, try to alternate which leg you come back up on. So go back down into plank, come back to the top, and then switch which leg you go down and come back up on. Here you can also do this without weights by just lifting your hand. Similar to a sumo lift, and step up and lower back down. Remember to alternate legs each time you go down. After completing 10 reps, you will move on to the next move, which is the concentration curl into dumbbell swings. You'll do three reps of each. After the third dumbbell swing, that's one rep. You're gonna get into the deep lunge, placing the stabilizing arm right on top of the knee and put your elbow, the working arm, uh, the elbow right on top of the wrist. Do three curls, step up into a uh, kind of a squat position, bringing the weight behind you. And you're not bringing the weight up with your arms, you're pistoning your hips forward. So your legs and your hamstring and your glutes are doing most of the work. So do three of those and then back down into the uh, concentration curl. You'll stay on one side for the entire combination. Uh, ten, 10 sets of these. And as always, you can use heavier, lighter weights, but since these are stronger muscle groups, you'll wanna try to get as heavy as possible. So you can always double up like I did in the beginning of this video. Once again, you're thrusting your hips forward. Your arms should be doing as little work as possible. After the 10 reps of that, you will move on to the pike press, a single leg pike press into plank tricep kickbacks. You're going to get into a downward dog position. Your hands can be pointed, your fingers can be pointed in towards each other or they can be pointed straight. You can also use weights. Um, that you might find that to be easier on your wrists if you have wrist issues. I actually found it to be a little bit more challenging to use the weights. Once again, you're gonna stay on one side for all the, the the 10 sets or the 10 reps. You'll do four pike presses, bringing your head, uh, the crown of your head to the ground or as close to the ground, not, not touching the ground, but close. Come down into plank and do four tricep kickbacks. You're gonna keep your elbow high. When you're in the plank position, it's best to keep your feet wider. Keep your hips down and try not to let them shift up. Also, when you're in this downward dog position, you're going to be on your the your toes. You're not going to be flat-footed. 
So bring the crown of your head as close to the ground in between your hands as you can. Come back into plank position. And from here, bring your arm up with your elbow above your back and do four tricep kickbacks. You will need a slightly lighter weight. You can also do this instead of doing the single leg plank, uh, I mean, sorry, pike press. You can do it on both feet and decrease the range of motion. If this feels uncomfortable to you, try pointing your fingers forward. And you can also just hold the plank position. And a side view. Make sure you're drawing your abs in. And if you're not doing the tricep kickback, just hold the plank, still keeping your abs pulled in. You can also come down onto your forearms in a low plank position. On the workout video, you will be doing um, another set of concentration curls and dumbbell swings on the opposite arm or the opposite side. Then after that, the opposite side on pike press and tricep kickback. Then we'll move on to a combo, four move combo that I call the Solomon Grundies. The first 10 reps will be dead man burpees. So it's just like a burpee except you come all the way to the ground and uh, bring your chest to the to the ground and spread your arms out and then from there push your body up and and from there do a burpee a lower impact would be two step back slow the movement down and take out the jump After you've done 10 reps of the dead man burpees, you will move on to the forward lunge static curl, staying on one side. You're going to be using two weights. One is going to stay at your side while the other arm, um, you're going to bring the same arm up the on the side that you're uh, lunging forward. So if you're lunging forward with your right leg first, that's the arm that you're going to keep in that static position. When you reach the bottom of the lunge, you do a curl, step back, and do another curl at the top. That's one rep. We'll be doing 10 reps. You can modify by using heavier or lighter weight. Just don't forget to do two curls, one at the bottom of the lunge, then step back up to the starting position and do another curl. You can also make this a little easier by go ahead and, and dropping that arm, lunging, and then doing a, a regular curl. After that, in the, in the workout, you will be doing 10 more dead man burpees and then the static lunge curl on the opposite side. The last move before part two that we'll be doing is the weighted lunge twist or switch lunge twist. You're going to start out in a lunge with the weight, one weight held at chest level, switch lunge and whatever side, um, whichever leg is forward is the side you'll be twisting towards. You're going to bring that weight on the outside of that hip. And we'll be doing 10 reps of this. Try to go as heavy as possible without sacrificing form.
and bring that weight as far um, behind your hip as you can. You can also do it without weight. Same principle, you're twisting your upper torso towards the side, uh, the forward leg. And if you can't do the jump switch lunge, you can always just lunge forward, alternating sides. After that, we'll move on to the interval time challenge for part two. It will be two minutes of the ab exercise, followed by a 30 second break, and then 30 seconds of um, high knee, high knees with a jump rope as fast as you can. The first move is the V up ball toss. Uh, excuse me, the V up figure eight ball toss. Here I'm using a six pound med ball. You're going to do a sit up, bringing the ball to your toes. Lean back at the top with your feet off the ground. Bring the, the ball between your legs in a figure eight. So under one leg and then switch to the other leg. Do two uh, tosses and then lower back down. You can also keep your feet bent or you can also bring your feet or your heels to the ground. Just make sure while you're in that B, B position, you're keeping your back straight. As you come up, don't, don't tuck your chin into your chest. You can on the way back down, um, that's fine. But as you go up, keep, your, keep a space between your chin and your chest. You can also do this without a ball if you don't have that or if it's too challenging. Just bring your legs up towards your chest, then reach high with your arms, with your feet either elevated or hovering off the ground or your he heels on the ground. You can also um, switch out the med ball for a dumbbell or maybe a kettlebell. Make sure it's nice, slow, and controlled. After that, you do the high knees with the jump rope. You'll be doing it as fast as you can for 30 seconds. If you don't have a jump rope, you can modify by just doing high knees. And low impact, you can just bring your knees up. as quickly as you're capable. For some reason I was having a really hard time. You can also slow the movement down a little. Just work at your own pace. We'll be doing the high knees after each ab exercise. So the next one is the Russian twist with a Turkish get up. You'll use one weight. Once again, you can use whatever equipment you have available, whether it be a med ball, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a jug of water, a bag with some books in it, just whatever you have. So this is the Russian twist 
on this we'll be starting out with two Russian twists up into the Turkish getup. Just be very careful as you come up and then back down. Don't allow your shoulder, your arm to come back behind you. On the second one, we'll be doing three Russian twists and switching arms. You can use your other hand to help you get up. Slowly and carefully lower back down. And then you'll be doing four Russian twists, bringing the weight to the ground or as close to the ground on the outside of your hip as you can and alternating each time uh, alternating arms. You can also do this without weight. Clasp your hands together and bring them as close to the ground as you can, preferably touching the ground. Just make sure you switch sides each time and do one more repetition. So if you, you're going to start with two, come up, and then the next time you do the Russian twist you'll do three, come down, then four, then five, and so on. On the Russian twist you can also place your heels on the ground to make it a little easier or keep your knees bent. And if you want to challenge yourself just a little more you can do a prisoner get up with your arms behind your hands. <laughs> your arms. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your hands behind your ears. But if you can do your arms behind your hands I'd love to see that. Once again, you'll be doing high knees with a jump rope and then moving on to the bicycle crunches, roll over into low plank and reach and tuck. So lie down, bring your legs up off the ground and do a bicycle, bicycle crunch, bringing one elbow to the opposite knee four times, roll over into low plank. We'll bring the opposite arm and opposite leg up. So if you're bringing your left arm up, your right leg will be going up. Once you reach forward and back with your leg, you'll tuck both towards each other, touching your elbow to your knee. Do four of those and then back into the bicycle crunch. While you're doing these, um, you can place your heels on the ground Avoid um, pulling on your neck and lead with your elbow, or lead with your chest, not your elbow. When you're in the low plank, you can also uh, stay on your knees. You won't be able to do the tuck part, but you're still really engaging your abs here. Also, when you're doing the bicycle crunch, just make sure that your lower back is pressed into the mat. As you're crunching up, try not to bring your legs um, above the line of your hip. This is another variation that you can do. After that, in the workout video, you'll, you'll be taking another 30 second break and then 30 seconds of high knees. Here we're going to do the weighted inchworm with a side hip raise. So walk out just as you would in an inchworm. In the video I used 10 pounds, but it was because the mat was wet and I didn't want to slip. But you can go as heavy and light or as heavy or light as you feel comfortable. Um, walk out, get onto one side, either right or left, because we're going to alternate, and then do four hip dips. 
So this time you'll alternate to the opposite side. And you can either stack your feet on top of each other or you can stagger them. In this version, uh, my hip doesn't go all the way to the ground. But you're going to use mainly your abs or your obliques to push yourself up. Try to get your hip higher than the rest of your body. And you can also do this without weight. Just walk out into plank. And here I'll show you the staggered version. It makes it a little bit easier. You can also rest your hip on the ground for a second and then push up. Try to keep your um, shoulder in line with your hands. And for a slightly more of a challenge, you can raise your arm above you and you can even uh, use a light weight, hold a light weight above you. And then the last move, oh, well, actually the last move will be um, the jump rope. But this is the last ab move. And remember, we'll be doing two minutes for each ab move. Make sure the ball, here I'm using a six pound med ball, make sure the ball is uh, firmly planted between your knees. You're going to raise up four times. And then from there, you're going to reach your hands towards the up or the heel, the heel of your feet. Once again, try not to let your legs come above the line or over the line of your hip. You can also do this without any equipment. You can either have your legs straight up. Now as you're going up, keep your feet flat and don't let your legs move too much. Try to keep them in one position, but you'll be doing four and four. So four leg raises, and here you can also tap down and see how I reposition my legs. But that's it for the workout tutorial. I'll have the full version uploaded tomorrow. Thanks for watching and hope to see you then.